terms of Rochester in England. Uh, when we're the exhibition today, we're talking about helmet mounted displays and the helmet mounted display technology from Rochester. The first system we have here is from the Stryker family of helmets. Stryker is a top end, higher function helmet. It's designed for both fixed wing and rotary wing installations. And it's changed the game within uh, the market for helmet mounted displays. Firstly, it has an optical head track which works on a series of light emitting diodes being detected by a camera in the cockpit. That accurately tracks the position of the pilot's helmet. In relation to that, the system also has binocular visor projected information which appears before the pilot's eyes. The information is tracked to the position of the head. So weapons aiming, navigational positions, height, speed, etc. all appear directly in front of the pilot's eye. This enables him to carry out uh, manoeuvres at high speed, low level, without looking down into the cockpit. He can also look at what we call off bore sight, away from the direction of the travel of the aircraft and still engage targets or designate positions on the ground. This second system is called QSight. It's designed primarily for rotary wing installations and also use on a multi-engine utility aircraft. Uh, it uses a different technology from the visor projector technology used in other helmet mounted displays. It's based on an optical waveguide and is built into a module that can be installed on any standard aircrew helmet. standard helicopter pilot's helmet with the Q-Sight installed. In order to install it on the helmet, we have to attach a small mounting plate on the side and then clip the Q-Sight in place on a frangible breakaway mounting which will disconnect during an accident or crash. The Q-Sight can also be moved away from the pilot's line of sight when he doesn't particularly need to use it. The technology that generates the display is a holographic waveguide, so the image actually appears to be floating in the middle of the piece of glass rather than reflected on it. On this installation today, we're demonstrating a system that we've delivered for use on uh, naval helicopters. The system is uh, the Gunner's Remote Sighting System, which takes a data feed from the weapon site and shows it in the operator's line of sight, which means that the uh, weapons operator no longer needs to look directly through the back of the weapon site. This is a problem in helicopters because the uh, door gunner's position is very limited in its uh, he now can move the weapon and engage a target without looking directly through the sight because the image is relayed to his eye. What we're seeing here is the weapon traversing and relaying the image to the gunner's line of sight without the need for the gunner to lean out into the slipstream of the aircraft. It allows him to traverse the weapons into an area that he couldn't get his head behind the weapon sight due to the restrictions of, say, the door frame, the winch mounting, or slipstream of the aircraft.